Hi guys, it's Jody. Today's video, I am going to be doing another swipe, a circular swipe. I had the suggestion to use a specific tool, so I'm gonna attempt that. I've been watching some uh, more videos on YouTube and in my uh, art groups on Facebook to learn a little bit more how to get it to go <laughs> the way I want it to. And I was also asked by one of my subscribers if I would use US Floetrol. So today we're gonna to be utilizing US Floetrol Cell Activator recipe, the, the latest one where I use a higher ratio. Originally for this video, I was only going to do the one piece, the circular swipe you'll see me do in a minute. <laughs> and then I, I actually thought about it and I wanted to come back and do another one with the US flow trial, uh, the, the palette knife where I load everything on the palette knife. So you get you get two for one and, and <laughs> I had videoed them separately. So you'll see why, you know, what I mean as you watch the video, but there's two for today, not just one. So let's go get started having some fun with these swipes. Now I'm gonna try this again. <laughs> We're gonna do a circle swipe. Circular swipe, spin swipe, vortex swipe, spiral swipe. <laughs> Those are all the ideas that all of you have given me. And I I still keep going to circular swipe only because I have it embedded in my head. But uh, for this test, I wanted to do just a smaller uh, eight inch round. And I'm gonna be using my Glidden Premium Satin pillow. Well, it should be more than enough. My spinner has a ton of paint on it. Right, this is Master's Touch number eight. I had a request to, uh, or well, a, a suggestion to try a icing spatula. And I have one of those, but I thought it would be too long for what I was trying to accomplish. But I had this shorter one, it's just a little bit thicker. So we're gonna go with this one for today, and I'm not putting anything on my pa on my palette knife. It's all gonna go on the canvas, and I will show you exactly what I'm gonna be doing. The first color I'm gonna put down is the black umber Geosonia, and this is the consistency. These are all mixed with the Infinity Geosonia pouring medium. Some of them do have bare, and I will let you know which. Most of the colors uh, were uh, were sitting on my bench, except for this one. I, this is the only one I've mixed up new because I wanted to use it kind of, kind of put a big puddle. A little trick here, if you put a bigger puddle of a darker color or any color really, it can kind of be your backdrop instead of doing a tinted pillow. So let's see if I can get this right. Ah, wow, look at that. <laughs> oh, it worked. Kind of spread that out a little. I've been watching uh, a few people on YouTube do these uh, circular swipes and um, in various uh, art groups I am in on Facebook. And they were kind of spinning it and then letting go and then using the momentum and just kind of using the tip of your spatula. So that works. <laughs> All right. So the first color I am going to put down is this little piggy pigment cappuccino. It's a really nice uh, dark brown with a gold undertone. Gold kind of... Yeah, I would say like a gold coppery under, undertone. I don't have a lot left. This definitely has a little bit of bear in it. Just probably a dollop. But I just want to get some of that here. And I'm just going to layer them all kind of on top of each other like I would be doing a bloom. Well, that should be enough because I am out. The next color I'm going to put down is this little piggy pigment. This is Aspen. It's a really, I mean, it's a beautiful green 
it's got a gold undertone. Let me just show you it mixed up because it's, it's hard to describe. I mean, it's really, it's luscious. <laughs> it's got this greenish gold undertone and then it's a green, you know, it's a green, well, it's a green pigment. <laughs> but I wanted to put the two uh, together, the, the brown and then the, I'm hoping it'll give me kind of like a color shift effect. Might not. But I did not want to have to mix up new colors. I, I want to continue to use what's on my bench. So this is what I had. And then my next color is Interference Gold. This is just the Golden Fluid Interference Gold. And that's the consistency of that. And I just want a little. And finally, my last color is going to be a tube paint. It's going to be Matisse Flow, the Southern Ocean Blue. It's a really beautiful uh, turquoise green color. That's the consistency. And I just want, I don't want it to take over. I just want a splash. All right. And then the cell activator I'm going to be using is the, and this was a request from another subscriber to use the U.S. Floatrol uh, mix. This is the Amsterdam Titanium White and U.S. Floatrol mixed 10 to 1. And I do have a video all about this a number of videos back. Um, I, will, I will link it down below. And let you know what number it is but I'm just gonna put a bunch on here like so and we're gonna spin it similar to how I just spun that uh, oops don't really know how much to put on but we're gonna spin it similar to how I got the black umber out so let's oops you know what I'm gonna go this way see what happens. It's U.S. Floatrol, so it's going to take a minute for shells to pop up. The one thing, obviously, about um, Australian Floatrol, it, they would have they, they would have popped up already. Um, but we're getting some nice cells. I might have to help it along with my straw, which I am fine with. But I would say I'm a little bit successful with the spinner and the swipe in getting it kind of uniform that way. coming. I almost want to put some on a palette knife and just kind of try and get here, but I feel like I'll mess it up if I do. <laughs> I totally don't want to mess this one up. All right, I've got just a little tool here. I'm just going to swipe right in here. See if some something comes of it. Oh good. All right, I might do that one more time. And all I'm doing is putting the cell activator on first and then I'm putting a little bit of the southern ocean blue and then some of the aspen like so let's see oh I may have messed that up
You know what? I'm going to go with it. Let's see what happens. I kind of like, I love the, all the cells and what's happening. They're tiny, but I'm going to spin the, the um, for lack of a better word, crap out of it. So we're going to see what happens with this. I will meet you over at the spinner box. All right, here is kind of a close up of what these cells are doing. I'm going to spin it and see what we get. That is kind of cool. I'm definitely getting that uh, that shifting effect that I wanted, and I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna cry about all these little baby cells. They're actually kind of cute. this way. Oh, I'm really digging the bling on this. My cells didn't explode like the last one and I and I swear it did <laughs> with the US flow trawl but and what's going on with the spinner? These cool looking squigglies. I'm kind of really digging this effect actually. This is pretty cool. I'm gonna say that this was not an epic fail. It's a pretty cool and there's there's no more movement, so we're we're good. I am gonna call this one done. Right, so I am going to The spinner is almost an extension of the piece. I almost didn't want to, oh wow, Look, just look at that. Look at the how that is just shining through. Imagine that resin. I decided to do one more. <laughs> I thought I was done, but then I thought, no, I want to uh, do a palette knife swipe with the US Flow Troll. I'm going to do something. I, I want to, I want to do the spin where I put the black umber on there and then I'm going to kind of swipe. So we will see what happens. I've got the same pillow, all the same colors too. Uh, same pillow, the Glen Premium Satin. And all the same colors I just used in the uh, round piece. Except I am Except for the black umber, all the other colors I'm flipping uh, because it's going to be on the palette knife. Um, and if you remember, normally you put your CA down first and then all your colors on top of here. But it's it's the opposite of what you would do for a bloom because once you flip it over, then you're going to swipe. However, I'm going to use this black umber again as kind of like my black my my backdrop. So. I think that is enough paint. So I'm gonna just kind of pour a bunch of this in the center. I think that should be good. And I'm just gonna. Whoa! That was comical. <laughs> I spin a little too hard. <laughs> kind of made a cool uh, latte effect. And you know what? I'm going to go with it. I am going to go with it. <laughs> that, was, that was quite a spin. <laughs> All right, kind of like that. I've got my cell activator first, and I've got the Southern Ocean Blue the Interference, the Aspen, and then the Cappuccino. And we're just gonna... Do something like that. I 
let that come in a little bit. I might, I think what I'm going to do is just use a smaller palette knife now. Um, I think I might come in with this one and just do a little bit around the side. I'd like to leave, <clears throat> I'm kind of digging my oopsie <laughs> background, my backdrop there. I think I might add just a little more right here and maybe try to fix this here. All right, I've just got the um, Southern Ocean Blue and the Aspen and uh, the Cell Activator. I think I'm gonna do something right here first. I might not need to do anything here. I kind of like what's going on. I might just soften this. Up just a little. Instead. Instead of trying to swipe it again, actually, I'm going to leave that be. Uh, I'm I'm digging this. I'm really digging this. Okay, I think I might just add a little bit of. Um, embellishments. Maybe right in here. Just, just some, uh, nothing major. Yeah, I'm really liking how all of this is flowing. Something right in here though because as we spin that it's going to get a little bit bigger we'll see if I end up liking that or hating it but all this in here is looking really awesome all right I will meet you over at the spinner box and we will see what comes of this all right, this has really filled in nicely. I just want you to get a nice view of that. I'm gonna kind of spin and guide it as go. Oh. Up just a little. It's not gonna allow me, I don't have as much paint as I thought I did. So we're just gonna spin and see what happens. Holy cow, that is so cool. Yeah. All right, I don't need to do a lot. Just gonna spin to get a little bit more coverage on that corner and I'm uh, really digging this. <laughs> I don't think I need to do much else. moving just a little bit in the center but wow look at that that's just gorgeous and I kind of like what's happening it's almost like it's a spiral in the background I don't want to point because I've uh, paint all over my hands but the black umber in the back is kind of giving it a spiral and this is just jumping out at you in the forefront just get a little bit more paint off and see if I can get to those corners yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about right there. 
I think we're done. I think we're done. All right, I'm 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 not touching it anymore. This is just the coolest thing. <laughs> wow. All right, I surprised myself a little. <laughs> Here's what this one looks like. Now I'm gonna get cleaned up and uh, I'll give you a flyover of both of the pieces. All right, here is the flyover. You see how it's kind of doing that with the brown and the and the green? It's kind of making a, a color shift. I'm kind of digging these tiny little cells. They're completely different than what um, you know, then something where you get more webbing cells like that. And there is so much bling in this. I'm, I'm not mad about it. I'm not mad about it at all. I just think it's pretty cool. And I, I'm really excited to see how it dries. And the best part is I totally want to run a resin this. And I love all these tiny little cells in here. Here is the flyover of this one. This turned out so cool. I I I didn't know what I was going to expect from it. And uh I I was pleasantly surprised. Not what I had at all in mind, but that's okay. I went with it. And these cells are just fantastic. This is US Floatrol too, so it does create really amazing cells. My little oops up there even kind of <laughs> blends in. But I'm totally digging it's kind of like coming out at you. So I will be back once this is dry to show you the dry results of both pieces. And I'm back to show you the two pieces you just saw me do. I was originally going to do just the round swipe and then I thought, you know, I, I kind of want to see how the US Float Trail works on a palette knife swipe where, you know, you load everything up on the palette knife. So we did a second one. You got a twofer. So, and they dried beautifully. How you saw them wet is pretty much how they dried. So here is the circular swipe, circular swipe, spinner swipe. I haven't decided. I just keep going back to circular swipe. But just, you see kind of like the, it almost looks like a color shift between the the green and the brown. They kind of blend a little. And that's that's what I was going for. So it I achieved that result. However, so my, I got all these tiny freckle cells, which I kept because I just thought they were kind of, they were kind of cool. And I am definitely going to resin this piece. But you can see it almost looks like a, a shell like the inside of a shell in there when you cut it in half if you ever if you've ever seen like the the inside so there's that first one and then here I'm trying to get it without the just so you can get the full picture before I turn the bling on <laughs> and it just dried beautifully. I'm really digging my happy accident. I spun too hard <laughs> as you saw and it was an oops but I'm I'm liking how it kind of looks like you know it's spiraling in so it's drawing you in this way and then jumping out at you that way so I'm I'm really really digging this piece. And the cells filled in really nicely, you know, the, with the U.S. float trial you saw, it took a little bit for the cells to pop up, but I didn't really have to do uh, much more swiping up here. I just left it alone and it decided to fill itself in. So there's that piece too. And always with the, with the U.S. Uh, Floatrol cell activator, 
it can be finicky depending on the pouring medium you're using. I've noticing, I've been testing it with other pouring mediums like the Bear and um, another uh, another pouring medium that I'm going to bring bring about in the near future that I've been testing behind the scenes. Uh, it, it it takes some more coaxing, and I think it just might need to be a little bit thinner. So it's it's still finicky, uh, but you know it. If you can get get it to work, it 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 works awesome. You know, it's it's definitely not the Australian Floetrol, the magic sauce, but it is it is another good option. And I've heard from some that couldn't get it to work at the higher ratio. You know, either nine nine to one or ten to one, and they've added a few drops of the the Minwax pre stain conditioner, and that worked well for them. So you know, that might be an option too. So you don't have. I know the Minwax is a little stinky, but at least you wouldn't have all the other ingredients to the the uh, the ink and then the glue and I think that was it for the other recipe and then the min wax so it still minimizes the ingredients but I I my goal <laughs> trying to do that was just to get the US flow trial to work by itself so it does it's just finicky so just keep that in mind and don't get discouraged just play play around with it you know and it it, it should eventually work for you so let me know what you think in the comments below about these two pieces. I really had a lot of fun experimenting with them with my oopsies and all. <laughs> they turned out okay and I'm definitely going to resin these pieces. So with that, please like, share, and subscribe. I really hope you had fun watching this video. I will see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching.